Hey guys, it's Dave, and I just wanted to give you a quick update about what's going to be happening today. So, as I mentioned before, one of the reasons for me moving down to Texas was to try to get into more professional voice acting. So, one of the things I did when I first got down here was to send out an email to Sound Caden Studios, letting them know that I was interested in having a professional demo reel produced. I actually got a response back from Amber Lee Connors, which, if you guys don't know who that is, you need to check out her IMDb page, because she's worked on all kinds of projects anime, video games, you name it, she's done it, and she does a phenomenal job of it. She's an actress that I've been following for a very long time, and I know that she does good work. She's actually the found, the co-founder and CEO of Sound Caden Studios. I actually got an email response from her directly saying that she would be more than happy to work on a professional demo reel with me. Now, again, that was when I first got down here, which was almost three months ago. Um, unfortunately, they were backlogged, and she made this perfectly clear to me. She told me, you know, it would be a little while because there were other people waiting in the wings sort of thing um, so that I could expect to do it later in the year. Well, later in the year has finally arrived. I'm actually heading over to Soundcane Studios tonight to sit down with Amber, talk to her, and just kind of get lay down the groundwork to get the ball rolling on everything. Now, I don't know what to expect. I've produced my own demo reels in the past, and I try to keep them professional quality, but I've never had a demo reel professionally done. Um, she mentioned about like trying to figure out my vocal range and like uh, working out the scripting and things like that. I don't know what their process is like. I don't know what anyone else's process is like. I only know mine, so I really have no idea how this is going to go. And I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't a little bit nervous. And it's a good kind of nervous, though. Um, it reminds me of back before when I was acting on the stage, like going in for an audition or even going and for a performing night right before the curtain rises and you're sitting backstage and you're working up that adrenaline, but your nerves are kind of firing off as well. So... I'm in that mode right now, and it's a feeling I haven't had in a long time, and it makes me even more excited for tonight. Um, so I'm going to go and get ready right now. I've actually got to figure out how to get there. She gave me the address, but I never did like a test drive to get there. I know it should take me about a half hour or so. I'm going to give myself a little extra time, but I need to actually go and get ready because all I've done all day is to sit and record uh, videos for my gaming channel and everything. So I'm going to go take care of that. I'll give you guys an update both before and after, like when I get there uh, and after I have the consultation. I'm not going to record anything while I'm there. I don't feel like that would be appropriate my first time meeting uh, Amber and everything and trying to work on this right now. That takes priority. But like I said, I want this channel to be about my voice acting journey and to keep you guys in the loop. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, you might notice that. I've got like the sound foam up and everything. It's much brighter in here than it probably usually is. I've got lights in here now. Um, I've still got to show you guys my setup, like how it is that I voice act, you know, with all the equipment and how I've set up the room and everything. Because even just looking on the video feed right now, you can't see all the stuff that's around me, which for me is okay. That's kind of how the way I had it planned out. But anyway, I'm going to go get ready. I will let you guys know what happened. For you, it'll be a matter of seconds. For me, it will be a few hours. So here we go. All right, so it's actually been a couple of days since I sat down with Amber. Um, two days, actually, so exactly a couple. Um, and honestly, I think things went really well. I felt a little, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say foolish, but I felt um, unprepared going into this, which I think is understandable because I've never actually done anything like this before. Every demo that I've produced up to this point has always been done on my own, just kind of like looking up guidelines and things online and uh, trying to figure it out on my own for the most part. So when I sat down with her, she had a bunch of questions prepared for me. Like, you know, what's your vocal range? What sort of tropes um, do you think your voice is most suited for? Uh, what kind of roles do you get most often? And, you know, I answered everything as clearly and honestly as I could but I kind of found that more often than not, my answer was, I don't know. And again, I would kind of hope that that's the least expected from someone who's never really been through this process before. But my problem is that the roles that I've gotten have always been either something that I've gone out and found myself, or I've maybe had someone come to me and be like, hey, could you think about maybe trying this for this role? So. I've never really been able to focus on what exactly it is that my voice is best at and what I can do uh, strongly. 
So typically I found, and I told her this, that I usually get assigned the role of like the villain or the big tough guy or like the gruff burly guy or whatever. So, you know, definitely more masculine, stronger sounding roles. And she said that was totally fine, but I also, you know, elaborated on some of the other things that I've done. I had, she actually had listened to one of my demo reels prior to me actually getting there. So she does know that I have capability outside of that range as well. So one of the things she said we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make this kind of like an open forum type thing. She has her writers working on scripting now. It's gonna take about a week or so, she said. But when I go in, I literally will not have seen anything on the scripting until I actually sit down with the copy. So that way, like, I don't get a voice in my head that, like, shouldn't be or, you know, is incorrect, and then I have to kind of force myself out of it. She wants me to kind of come up with something on the spot and then for us to work through it together. And she said it'll probably be about 10 or so different spots that I work on. The process should take about two hours, give or take. It may take a little bit longer with me because of just the amount of varied things that we're trying to do. But I'm not, I have no problem with that at all. Like I said to her, like, I want to put myself to work on this one. Like I want to use my voice and be a voice actor and everything. And I want to explore and figure out what it is that not only can I do, but what it is that I'm best at. So. I'm very excited to be working on this. Like I said, you know, it was two days ago I sat down with her. It's going to take about a week to, uh, to script everything out. Uh, and then she and I are going to sit down and schedule a time for me to actually come in and record. And it's cool. Like, she already gave me a tour of the studio and everything. So I've seen, like, where it is I have to go and where I'm going to be recording and what to expect in that regard. Um, and they've got a cool setup over there, I have to admit. Like, it's all their own... Uh, they have their own individual offices and own individual recording spaces and everything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I actually hope to learn something from a technical point of view as well, just by going in there and actually recording in a professional studio, as opposed to, not to say that my, my, my setup isn't professional, it's as professional as I can make it right now on the budget that I'm working on. Uh, but I do my best to make sure that it's as professional sounding as possible. I mean, I haven't shown you my setup right now, and I'm sure some people will probably laugh at it, but for what it is that I'm trying to do and what it is I've been doing, it works perfectly well for me. Uh, but that'll be in a future video. But yeah, so that's pretty much going to do it for this, guys. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to keep you guys up to date with everything. Uh, I think the next video is probably going to show you my recording setup, uh, but I do want to keep you guys up to date on the demo recording and everything. Oh, speaking of the, the demo, uh, one of the cool things that Amber did tell me is that when someone comes in to record a demo for Sound Cadence Studios, you're actually automatically added to the list of uh, auditions. So if a project comes up and they think that you would be suitable for it, you're on that list and so they email you and contact you about it. Um, I was actually kind of worried that that might be, you know, I, I say taboo. Um, I don't know what, how else anyone else would define it, but the way I was looking at it, I didn't know if it was almost like trying to pay your way in to getting on someone's audition list. I'm recording a professional demo for the purpose of getting onto audition lists, that's for certain, but that's not the reason why I did it specifically with Sound Caden Studios. Like, I want to take this demo around to everywhere and audition and try to get on audition lists and things like that. I'm doing it so I can, you know, actually go around and start auditioning and earn my keep and develop myself into a professional paid voice actor. All right, so I just pulled into my apartment complex and everything. Um, like I said, I'll keep you guys up to date as things develop, but for now, that's going to do it, guys, so I'll see you in the next one. Take care.